Hello everybody and welcome back to the vlog and also welcome back to my very messy dressing room which I always give you an excuse for in every single vlog but truth is I'm just always a mess. I mean there is a little bit more to it. I am actually packing again because I'm going on another trip. Am I okay? I'm someone that never really likes to leave the house and in the last month I've been on three different holidays. This one is because in two days time, my boyfriend is turning 30. Our birthdays are very close together. We're both the same star sign as well, if you're into star signs, we're both Taurus. And um, yeah, it's his 30th and for his trip, well for my birthday, you guys know we went to Positano. And for his birthday, I am taking him or taking us to Dubai. Which I know a lot of people are always like, why do you always go back to Dubai? But truthfully, my boyfriend loves it. He would actually live there if he could. And or if, like, he, I mean, he could, but I don't really want to live there. But anyway, um, yeah, he loves it. And it's always just like such a safe bet of a holiday in the sense that the weather's usually great. The restaurants are good. It's just like, it's like our home from home. Anyway, I have actually just filmed a video, which you might recognise the top, which I actually love, by the way. I got this from Reese a couple of months back. But I just filmed the most exciting unboxing guys i'm gonna show you the box because the thing is now out of the box but i just want to i just want to show you it like look at this i still i'm still not over it like i can't even believe it i don't know if by the time this video goes up the unboxing will already be up i don't know i'm not sure how the timings are going to work out to be honest if it's not live it will definitely be live in a couple of days and if it already is guys i know it's like lots of you are going to be as excited about this as i am because i feel like you've lived this journey with me um but i'm just not over it i feel like i never will be anyway i'm actually just about to get changed i'm going to make myself some late lunch usually i start my vlogs in the um, mornings but it's actually not the morning it is mid-afternoon i'm gonna make myself some lunch and then we need to go to the shops because i have a few things i want to buy i need to go to zara because i want to buy some kind of cute beach outfits for my trip i also need to buy my boyfriend a couple more presents he's had a few of them already but i just need to get him like a few that he can open on his birthday um, i feel like then we can come back and do a try on haul and we can kind of do what i intended to do for my parish trip which is try the outfits on and then like pack them at the same time i feel like these outfits might go slightly better because i'm a little bit more organized and prepared than i was for my parish trip for some reason anyway let's go and make some lunch i'm trying to depuff my hair slightly i'm also going to get changed out of these clothes because i hate doing anything in nice clothes do any of you feel like that i feel like in my vlogs i'm always in black like a black t-shirt and gym wear because i just i don't like wearing my nice stuff when i'm either like chilling around the house or going shopping it's so weird isn't it like i was going to say going shopping but i feel like people dress up to go shopping but i definitely treat it like I don't know, like it's a workout. Yeah, this top is too nice to be cooking in. The sun has actually made a bit of an appearance, which is very nice because my kitchen is always so dark. I don't know if it's the dark cupboards that makes it dark or just this corner in general gets no light unless it's bright and sunny. It has rained today a lot, but the sun, the sun is starting to come out. Anyway, let's make some food. Oh, something else actually. I got an espresso coffee machine. How exciting is this? I'm going to unbox this with you guys. Maybe... I was going to say whilst I'm making dinner, but that's not going to happen because I can't multitask that well because I need to take all of my focus. I need to use all of my focus when I'm cooking because, yeah, it takes a lot for me to do that. I'm going to quickly tidy up this kitchen because I haven't even um, emptied the draining board from last night and maybe even the night before, but we won't tell anyone that. I know I'm just about to mess up the kitchen again because I'm about to cook myself some lunch. But whenever everything around me is a mess, I just feel so chaotic. So I just needed to tidy up so I could kind of cook lunch in peace. But today we have options because like most weeks I did HelloFresh. It actually arrived yesterday. You guys know how much I love doing HelloFresh. It means I don't have to go to the supermarket. It means we get healthy dinners every night. And it also means that we're not eating the same things all the time because truthfully, I only really know how to cook like three dishes. But with HelloFresh, it makes me kind of branch out a little bit, try new things and maybe cook different things that I'd never usually cook. So today on the menu, we either have creamy truffle rigatoni which is pasta i've eaten a lot of pasta in italy but i love pasta and something about it is it only takes 20 minutes to cook so i feel like i might have that but the other options we've got is cajun spice sea bass and chive dressing that actually looks really lovely but i might save that for when reese is home reese is actually in ibiza he went away to ibiza with his friends whilst i was in paris but his um, break was a little bit longer than mine he actually gets home tonight and the other option is prawn and tomato risotto 
I think I'm going to go for the pasta and then what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to eat half of it now and then I'm going to have the other half of it when I get back from the shops because right now I'm having a very early dinner and if I don't eat again I'm going to be incredibly hungry and it also only takes 20 minutes to make which is great because as always I'm in a rush so this is all the ingredients on the side of the page here I'm actually going to leave out the bacon lardons just because I don't really like bacon if I'm honest okay here is all of my ingredients so we have the pasta we have the cheese, mushrooms, this is creme fraiche, and the broccoli over here. So quite minimal ingredients. So as always with HelloFresh, all of the cooking instructions are on the back. So if you're as bad as cooking as I am, it means it's going to help you out. And honestly, I've said it before, but if I can do this, if I can cook this, I promise you, you can. Because best believe, like six months ago, a year ago, I couldn't even cook an egg. I promise you, I could not even fry an egg. First step, cook the rigatoni. Bring, I hope I'm saying that right by the way. Bring a large saucepan of water to the boil with half a teaspoon of salt. It says on the instructions to do one clove of garlic, but I'm gonna do two because I love garlic. Do you know what? I might even do three. Cut the tender stem broccoli into three pieces width ways. Pasta is on. Broccoli is chopped. I now have eight minutes to kill. And I thought I would show you guys the HelloFresh app because it's such a good app. So I only do HelloFresh three days a week just to give us flexibility for the other days a week that we might want to eat out or we have other plans. So on the app, you can see all of your upcoming meal choices, which I always love to look at because it makes me excited for food next week. This one looks so good. It says Buffalo Halloumi loaded flatbreads with blue cheese, creamy slaw and chips. That looks and sounds fantastic. There are literally hundreds of different meal choices on here. But one of my favorite features on the app is if you click the home button and then you scroll way down to the bottom, it's got a little part that says recipe hub and it says explore over 2,500 delicious simple recipes. Click on that and it gives you thousands of recipes that you can follow along at home. So this one here, honeyed goat cheese bruschetta. So then you can see it says it takes 25 minutes preparation. It gives you the calories like all of HelloFresh meals. You know exactly what you're eating, which is another thing I love with it because often when you cook dinners, you have no idea how many calories you're consuming, but with HelloFresh, you know exactly what you're eating. It then gives all of the ingredients you'll need down below. But one of my favorite things about the HelloFresh app, because I am so rubbish at following instructions, I think it's because I am very badly dyslexic so even though I can do this it does take a lot of brain power there is a feature on here where I click this microphone button and I say read 120 degrees C slash 200 degrees Celsius fan gas mark 7 half the sire batter then half diagonally into triangles B roughly chop the walnuts Half. it reads you the cooking instructions and it's so helpful you know when you've got your hands full you're trying to chop something sometimes i can get a little bit stressed all i have to do is say out loud to the hellofresh app read and it will start reading me the instructions which is honestly game changing if you click the link in the description box and you use my code you can get 60 percent off of your first box and 25 percent off the next two which is pretty good I hope you can hear me, I've just turned the extractor fan on. But another thing about HelloFresh, which is something that I love about it, is the fact that you can pause your boxes. I, you might have seen when I showed you the app, mine says reactivate, and that is because I'm going away next week. And even though my cousin is actually coming to stay in my flat with her boyfriend, they don't want to do the HelloFresh whilst they're here. So it means that when I'm away, I can pause it, and then when we come back, I can restart it again, so there's no food wastage and I don't end up with a box when I'm on holiday. It smells, if I do say so myself, incredible. Okay, let's do a taste test. I can't lie, I ate so much truffle pasta in Paris as well, so I feel like I know what's good and what's bad. And... No. You are... No. So, so good. HelloFresh has actually made me realise that anyone can cook. With the right instructions and the right ingredients, I truly believe anyone can do it because let me tell you, I was the worst, the worst, worst, worst cook ever before I started doing HelloFresh. Now I feel like if anyone asked, I'd say I'm quite good. I know I could have actually chucked it in the bin when I was off camera. So proving that my bowl is empty probably means nothing, but at the same time, the only place I chucked it is in my mouth. It was so nice. Mmm. Hello everyone, I'm now in the car, I'm on the road. Traffic is actually not that bad, which feels very eerie for a weekday in London. Don't know why the traffic isn't so bad. I mean, it's, it's still taking me 
25 minutes to drive two miles but that's really good for London traffic to be honest really 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 good but yeah anyway I'm driving to the shops I am going to park up and I'm hoping I'm gonna I hope I can get into that shop I want to go to I need to go to Hermes but it actually shuts in 45 minutes and sometimes there's a bit of a queue hopefully there's not a queue today I want to get a bag shaper for my new bag and I also there's another thing I was going I want to go and change my wish because I currently have a wish at Hermes for a black Birkin 25 and I got it didn't I I got it in Paris which I feel so grateful for um so I just want to go and change my wish to something else and um then we need to go to Zara and I also need to get my boyfriend a couple more presents and I'm done I've actually been very organized this year last year I was so unorganized for his birthday we went to Jamaica and honestly I, I'm always unorganized but I was really really unorganized but this year I've had I've had it all planned I've got it all ready so everything is good I've come into Reese they have so many lovely bits in here really lovely pastel colors thinking I might try on a few bits for my holiday I have got so much to try on um, yeah, I feel like it could be one of those situations where nothing ends up looking nice though, but we'll give it a go. This is quite pretty. I never wear stuff like this, but it would look nice. I actually need kind of like night out outfits. I feel like I have so much for the daytime and nothing for the evening. I feel like I've hired the shop out. <laughs> There's literally me and just people that work here, pretty much. I swear, I just look at anything that's sparkly, like anything sparkly, I want it. Look at this belt, I'm kind of looking at it thinking, what could I possibly wear it with? Because I love it. More sparkly things. I've got this top, which doesn't really look great off, but I think on, you can't really see how sparkly it is. I think it look, could look quite good. Love this dress. Look, it's all beaded. How pretty. These are kind of giving me Hermes Orans, you know, with the denim. <laughs> Um, there's so much nice stuff in here guys, honestly. Look how much stuff I have with me. When I tell you guys I have been running around, I am not joking. I have been running around. Honestly, I've been here, there and everywhere. I finally got back in the car and I'm gonna eat my Joe and the Juice. I've just been to Joe and the Juice. I've been to the post office. I've been to Zara. I've been to Harrods. I've been to Reese. I've been to... Um, I've been everywhere like okay I've just come to Sainsbury's I need to get a gift bag because I have so many clothes for him but I don't want to wrap so <laughs> I'm gonna get this one I think the cake selection in Sainsbury's is so bad I thought it was gonna be really good I thought I'd have so much choice but there's nothing I would have got a cake made oh hang on there's more cakes here I would have got a cake made but I just know neither of us are gonna eat it so it's just more for kind of decoration and you need a cake on your birthday kind of vibe rather than it being actually nice. Hmm. Quite possibly the most boring birthday cake of all time, but it's his favourite, so that will do. Good morning, guys. It's 6am. I'm having to whisper as Reese is still in bed. Today is his birthday. And I'm currently blowing up balloons to make a garland in the living room. <laughs> Now, I can't say I'll ever make a party decor planner, but I feel like it's pretty okay. <laughs> Here's his gifts. I blew up all these balloons. This bunton thing took me so long to make. I mean, look at me right now. Like, what if I look like? Anyway, I'm just about to make him some breakfast. We're doing I didn't realise, but this is the crunchy one. I'm gonna do a taste test. It's so good. Ta da! I look slightly, slightly more presentable than I did this morning, but I have showered, I've washed my hair, and I feel like a new woman. I um, gave Reese's presents. I can't say has he loved them, which is a bit disappointing. Basically, Reese. I, by the way, it's so weird that I keep calling Reese Reese, but I never properly, like, formally introduced you to him, did I? I never even said like this is his name. I always usually said my boyfriend. But when, but when I was in Positano, it was kind of doing my head in. That I kept having to call him my boyfriend all of the time because I kind of hate that term. I don't know why. So I asked him if he would mind me 
publicly saying what his name is and he said he didn't mind so yeah we officially have a name for my boyfriend that i've for two years his name is reese and yeah he didn't love his presents well i don't know he said he liked them but you know when you can just tell i think he liked one of them to be fair and then the other one is actually here because i am very annoyed about this right i bought him this aftershave and it is from um i got it from harrods it's mason francis which i love their perfumes they gave me the female one, they gift wrapped it, so I didn't know until he opened it they'd given me the wrong one. And when I bought it, they said no exchanges, no refunds. So I don't know how I'm going to go in there and like try and prove that they've given me the wrong one and like say this is not what I asked for. But I mentioned multiple times it was for my boyfriend and this is a female fragrance, so that was really annoying. So today we're going to have to go back to Harrods for the 150th time this year and go and change that aftershave perfume and... Um, he needs to take all that stuff back to Zara. But in the meantime, I had a very, 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 very successful Zara trip yesterday. And I have so much stuff to show you guys. By the way, I hope, this, I hope the lighting in here is okay. It's such a dark day outside today. And I can't open my curtains because, to be quite frank with you, my room is such a mess. And I'm scared my neighbours might see. And that would be very embarrassing. So I thought we could try on or at least me show you everything I bought and I'm gonna start packing my case for Dubai because we leave tomorrow. I need to get my nails done, I still have work to do and I'm unorganized as I am every single day of my life. Okay, I hope this outfit is gonna show on camera as nice as it is in real life, but guys, this dress is so pretty. So imagine a beach club. I don't really love how my swimsuit, you can see it there, I'd probably take that down so you just have this strap there. But how nice is this going to look at a beach club? It's all beaded and it's kind of like crochet. So you definitely need to wear something underneath it. By the way, fake tan and stuff on me right now is not the best. I'm scrubbing it off tonight, so we'll ignore that. Underneath, I have a Hunza G swimsuit, which I actually have Hunza Gs in every single colour. I remember when I first ever bought my black one and I was like, this is such a lot of money for a swimsuit. And then I wore it and they are the most comfortable, flattering swimsuits ever. They are worth every single penny. And since then I've gone on to buy it, well buy a swimsuit from them in every single colour. And their bikinis, I love them so much, it's all I wear. So the dress, perfect for a beach club. It's so beautiful, like in real life it has all these like pearls all over it. Then over the top I popped over this sort of tan beige kind of linen shirt i then have my celine basket bag and for my shoes you can't see them but i've got my hermes or rounds on if i don't look too terrible i will insert this clip of how the dress looks without the shirt on just so you can see it what kind of size and things like that i would just say that because this swimsuit hasn't got any kind of like lift in it my chest looks slightly like a boy right now only thing i'm concerned about is it's a little bit heavy because it's got all these pearls on it so I think it's going to weigh my suitcase down quite a lot. Okay, next outfit. By the way, everything's from Zara unless I tell you otherwise. So the top, it's crochet. I have a Hunza G bikini on underneath because if I didn't, you'd be able to see my nipples. I am aware that I believe Dubai is very hot at the moment. But Dubai, I mean, they, they're not that strict with their dress code. I was about to say they have a dress code. They're not that strict with it, but I think it's more about respect than anything. So I always like to make sure that I am pretty well clothed, especially in the daytimes in Dubai. So I'm thinking I'm going to wear this to a beach club one day so they've got this crochet top on and then um the trousers they're quite big if i get up on this stool maybe you might be able to kind of see it a little bit better i'm a little bit scared i'm gonna hurt myself here guys but yeah this is the outfit in full i'm wearing my celine gladiator sandals my celine triumph bag and my celine triumph sunglasses in tortoiseshell and i'm very happy with this outfit i think it looks yeah quite nice Okay, this next outfit, I wanted a very white outfit for a particular beach club we're going to um, on one day. So I have on these linen trousers, which are from H&M. They were very, very affordable. My shirt is also linen and it is from Zara. My top, how cute is this? Okay, right now, guys, I am extremely bloated. If I'm honest, I am not in the best shape for this holiday, but whatever. I'm not going to dwell over it. It is what it is. But this top is so cute. It's got little shells on the bottom of it. I don't know if you can see if I get up close. Look how sweet that is. Little tiny shells on it. And then for my bag, I'm going to wear my Loewe beach bag. Because then my sandals, I'm going to wear my um, Hermes Orans. These are called Shipri, Shipri, something like that. I have a contrast to the white. I feel like it looks better than my white sandals. I feel like the contrast looks quite nice. So this is another kind of beach club outfit look and I think this day what I'm going to do is I'm going to wear my black Hunza G swimsuit and then in my bag 
I'm going to take my um, Chanel scarf and I'm going to wrap it around my waist when I'm there because I'll get unchanged out of this and then I'll put on my black swimsuit and wear this with... Maybe I'll go with my Loewe sunglasses. My God, I'm taking so much stuff. When I go to Dubai, I take so much stuff because I feel like it's the only place in the world, well, one of the only places in the world, you can go and just feel safe with everything on. So I always take all of my favourite things because I just love Dubai. And then when I've got the Chanel um, swimsuit on, I'll wear my Chanel sunglasses. Yes. You will not know this, but there has been a slight break because the top I wanted to wear with this skirt was my Loewe vest top. And... I just got my ironing back from a laundry company that I use in London that come and collect it, which sounds like such a luxury and it really is. The only reason I did it, I've done it once before as well because it is actually really handy and I'm so rubbish at ironing. I don't even own an ironing board, but anyway, I did it because I knew I wouldn't have time between trips to do my laundry. So I sent it off and also my Loewe vest tops, they can't be just washed they need to be hand washed or dry cleaned so they were the main reason i sent it off so anyway i've they it all got delivered yesterday i've only just opened it all up because i wanted to get one of the vest tops out and they're not in there my loewe vest top everything else is there my prime up pajamas and everything else is all in there but the most expensive two things that i sent are gone so i've just been on the phone to the company they're saying they don't have them they're saying they were dropped off but they're not in my i'm just honestly like where like what, what do i do about that they said they're going to call me back and look into it but i'm like i go on holiday tomorrow those vest tops combined were a lot of money Ugh, whatever anyway i'm just not going to dwell on it i'm going to get on with the video stuff like this always happens to me it's so frustrating anyway let's just not get thing but imagine this is my loewe vest top because i'm going to get it back by tomorrow let's manifest that um on here then i picked up this skirt from zara which i love it's kind of like cargo well it definitely is cargo it's got these little pockets on it and i feel like a skirt is usually very girly but i feel like the pockets make it kind of a little bit more cool and i felt with this shirt over the top of it which is from um Arquette, which actually i have a matching pair of shorts to i thought this just looks really good and then i'm gonna wear my um hermes shipri shipri hopefully one of you will tell me how to say that one day soon um sandals and then my Loewe bag. I think this could be a cute look. Maybe Loewe sunglasses. And yeah, love this. I think it's a, like more of a casual day kind of vibe. And I feel really comfy in it as well. Like I really, really love this skirt. I haven't been telling you the prices of anything, have I? Um, but I will link everything down below. I'm wearing this in a size medium. Just to let you know with Zara, I wear almost everything in a size medium unless it's meant to be fitted and then I wear it in a size small. So yeah, everything pretty much you see me in is size medium. I love this. Let me see. Next, everything I'm currently wearing, so the shorts and this vest top are from Reese. And I adore Reese clothing. It's such lovely quality. And I you know, just love so much of the stuff they do. They do like really great, kind of like elevated basics, if that makes sense. So, like this vest top, I mean, it's just the same. You'd think it was just the same as any vest top, but it's not. It's just got the most beautiful fabric. It's cut in the middle here. It makes your boobs look quite good, I have to say. The only thing I'd say is rib material can sometimes look unflattering, especially on camera. But in real life, it's such a beautiful material. And then with these shorts, I think it looks really, really kind of chic. Then this shirt I saw in Zara. I'm wearing it in a size medium. It's almost got like a silky um, collar to it and then silk down the buttons as well, and it's sheer. I haven't actually tried this on altogether yet, so I don't know if it's gonna look any good. I feel like, no, it doesn't go. This is beautiful. I do actually have a silk dress I think it's gonna look really lovely with, but together like this, this doesn't, this doesn't go. So I'm, okay, change of plan with that last outfit. I'm not gonna do all white, I'm gonna do black and white instead. I feel like this vest top looks nicer. It is also from Reese, it's exactly the same vest top, it's just in black instead. And I feel like it looks nicer with these shorts like this. Then I've got my Celine Tree up sunglasses. I could also wear like a black shirt over the top if I wanted to. And if you've seen the unboxing, I'm then gonna show you what bag I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use my <laughs> Birkin 25, which guys not over it cannot believe can't, just can't believe it i can't get over it can't wait to wear her in dubai so yeah i'm thinking this this is a look for one day i'm probably i'm not gonna wear this to a beach club like let's be honest this is not gonna be worn to a beach club so i don't know what day i'm actually gonna wear this but i feel like i want to just take it with me because dubai is so safe and i'll just feel safe wearing her and i feel like 
yeah <laughs> next outfit if you watch my positano vlog you'll have seen this in there but i love it so much i'm gonna rewear it in dubai and it's such a good set if you're going on holiday so i got the shorts and the shirt are both from um arquette the top underneath is from Zara, but just such a simple outfit, very comfortable and perfect for holidays. And then my bag is Loewe, very simple. I also am going to take this set in black because I have it in black as well. And I feel like it just, it's just super easy, especially for like going down for breakfast and things like that. I mean, I feel like this is too nice to wear for breakfast, but you know when you don't want to wear your beach club outfit to breakfast, I feel like this is a great look. Next outfit, I love this. It's a two piece, so you've got a skirt and a blazer but it matches and it's kind of almost like a linen effect material and the flower on the skirt is giving very Magda Butcham I don't know if I'm saying that right you know that brand that's got the flowers on it they do this really beautiful pink dress that's got the flowers across here love it I feel like yeah it's giving those vibes but how cute is this gonna look either on a very chilled night so I could just wear the pair of sandals and then this like like this or I could dress it up with a pair of heels one evening as well I just love it I think it's quite chic but at the same time, it's given holiday because of the material. And yeah, it's just super comfy as well. The only thing I would say is the skirt's quite big. It is a size medium and I kind of wish I'd got a small. But I don't have time to send it back now. So I'm just going to wear it a little bit lower on my hips than I usually would. And I can kind of get away with it like that. It's also very short, so I can kind of get away with wearing it a little bit lower. Why does anything white just get marked so easily? I swear trying things on in makeup is the worst idea ever. If I wasn't doing this on camera, I would never have my makeup done because it just goes everywhere. I've marked two things now. Anyway, remember that shirt? Did I show you this earlier? I might not have showed you it, I can't remember, but it's sheer. It's really badly made. I would say that it's all sort of pulling on the sleeves and things like that. But I mean, I might actually try and see today if they have this in a different one but anyway um it's really beautiful at the same time even though it's badly made so the cuffs are kind of a silky material so is the collar and all running down and then it's sheer with like a stripe in the material and then underneath i have on this cow neck mini dress which to be quite honest with you i've had this dress for the best part of four years i think i've worn it every single holiday i've been on in the last four years like literally it's been worn so many times it's just really flattering and so easy to wear i'm thinking one day i might wear this to um actually a beach club drift beach because i want to take a really like cute photo on the beach like walking like this I have to think of these things guys okay last few outfits because i feel like i have been doing this for way too long i kind of feel like i'm in my pajamas in this outfit but I feel like it will look quite nice when I'm wearing my cropped Hunza G um, bikini. Right now I'm wearing the swimsuit, but I feel like it doesn't look right. But I'm not going to wear the bikini because I have no tan on and it just doesn't look great. But I have on white linen trousers, this shirt, which are from H&M. The shirt is from H&M. And then my um, Chanel bag. And I'm thinking this could be a look with my white Hermes Orans. That went on longer than expected but I feel a little bit more organised. Sorry if my um you can see all makeup on my dressing gown. I have just washed it but I get makeup on everything. Anyway I now need to, well Risa, Risa just got back so we are going to go to take his presents back. We've got dinner tonight with his family and I need to take that shirt back to Zara. I need to get a black linen shirt, a white linen shirt and then tonight I need to pack my case. The sky is so grey I think it's about to tip it down. We went to Harrods, we went to Harvey Nicks. Kind of successful. By the way, the girl in Harrods changed my perfume, or well, the perfume that was wrong. No issues at all. She was just very apologetic. She gave me the wrong one, so that was all good. And I also just wanted to say, that today in Harrods, I met two girls <laughs> who watch my vlogs. It was so lovely. Yesterday, I met a girl that worked in Harrods. Um, and I also met a little family who I was actually looking at because I thought they looked so cute. And as I walked past, the lady shouted my name. So like I turned round and, um, and she was like, Freya, like I watch your vlogs. It was so sweet. Yeah, so I've met some really lovely people. I'm not surprised I meet everyone in Harrods because let's face it, every vlog <laughs> I go to Harrods, it seems. So it's no wonder we're all like each other who watch my videos. And clearly you all love Harrods as much as me. Anyway, we're in such a rush because dinner is at eight. We need to get home, get ready get the car this looks very very blue right now but i've just finished editing this vlog guys i just need to tell you i got up at 4 a.m 
UK time to be able to get this vlog out to you. If the dedication isn't there to the vlog, I don't know what it is. I've only got zero minutes left on my um, SD card. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching. I'll hopefully see you in my next video. See you then, guys. Bye.